Have you ever wondered why narcissists seem to have a hard time understanding things from an objective perspective? Today we pull back the curtain on this intriguing enigma. Objective reasoning is a crucial tool, yet, for a narcissist, it often seems just out of reach. Their perspective is colored by a unique blend of self-perception, emotional regulation, and defense mechanisms. But what makes these factors converge in such a way? Let's delve into the complexities of a narcissist's thought process. Narcissists often maintain an inflated image of themselves. They see themselves as superior beings deserving of special treatment and admiration. This distorted self-perception is more than a mere ego boost. It's a fortress, a shield that guards them against any information that might challenge their grandiose self-image. Imagine being in a room full of mirrors, but every reflection you see is distorted, amplifying your best features while minimizing or even erasing your flaws. That's the world as seen by a narcissist, a world where they are the sun, and everything else merely orbits around them. This distorted self-perception can severely hamper their objective reasoning. They become resistant to any feedback that doesn't fit within their self-constructed narrative. It's as if they are wearing a pair of glasses that only let in the light that flatters them and keeps out anything that might cast a shadow on their self-perceived greatness. This distorted self-perception is a significant obstacle to objective reasoning. Empathy and nuanced thinking are crucial for objective reasoning. However, these key elements are often missing in narcissists. Let's delve into why this is the case. Firstly, empathy. It's the ability to understand and share other people's feelings. It's the bridge that connects us to others, allowing for mutual understanding. Narcissists, however, often find this bridge difficult to cross. Their inflated self-concept and need for admiration can overshadow their ability to empathize, leaving them with a limited understanding of others' perspectives. Next, we have black and white thinking, also known as splitting. This cognitive distortion involves viewing things in absolute all-or-nothing terms. For narcissists, people and situations are either completely right or utterly wrong, with no room for the gray areas in between. This rigid thinking pattern hinders their ability to process information objectively and appreciate the complexities of different situations. Without empathy and nuanced thinking, objective reasoning is a steep uphill climb. Narcissists are often their own worst enemies. A key factor in this self-defeating cycle is their confirmation bias. This is the tendency to search for, interpret, and recall information in a way that confirms their pre-existing beliefs or hypotheses. It's like donning a pair of glasses that only allows them to see what they want to see, so if they believe they're always right, they'll filter out information that suggests otherwise. This bias cages them within their own viewpoints, making it tough to see the world from a broader, more objective perspective. Now let's talk about defense mechanisms. Narcissists often use these psychological strategies to cope with uncomfortable thoughts or feelings. Denial, for instance, allows them to reject realities that contradict their self-image. Projection, on the other hand, involves attributing their own shortcomings onto others, conveniently deflecting blame. And then there's rationalization, where they concoct excuses for their behavior, effectively reshaping reality to suit their narrative. These defense mechanisms, coupled with confirmation bias, form a potent cocktail that distorts reality deepening the narcissist's struggle with objective reasoning. They create a fortress that protects the narcissist's ego, but at the same time it isolates them from the truth and from meaningful relationships. In the end, these defenses and biases further entrench the narcissist in their subjective reality. Yet it's essential to remember that change is possible, and the first step is awareness. With understanding and effort, they can learn to dismantle these walls, opening the door to a more objective and empathetic worldview. Emotions and control are two sides of a tricky coin for narcissists. The emotional landscape of a narcissist is often a turbulent one. This is due to a phenomenon known as emotional dysregulation, a term that refers to an inability to manage and respond to emotional experiences in a controlled, appropriate manner. For narcissists, feelings can be intense and overwhelming 
making it difficult to think clearly or objectively. Now imagine trying to navigate through a dense fog of intense emotions. It's not easy, is it? This is the daily reality for many narcissists, and it's a significant factor that hampers their ability to reason objectively. Their heightened emotional reactivity can cloud their judgment, distort their perception of reality, and lead to impulsive decisions. On the flip side of this emotional coin is the narcissist's intense focus on control. For them, control is not just about maintaining order, it's about preserving their self-image and power. Any threat to their control is perceived as a direct assault on their self-worth, leading to defensiveness and manipulation. When their control is threatened, narcissists may resort to distorting information, gaslighting or other manipulative tactics to maintain their grip on power. This need for control further compromises their ability to reason objectively, as it prioritizes maintaining power over seeking truth and understanding. The grasp for control and emotional volatility clouds their reasoning capabilities. The interplay of emotional dysregulation and control issues creates a challenging environment for objective reasoning to thrive. Narcissists' struggles with objective reasoning have far-reaching implications. It's like a ripple effect that touches every facet of their lives, especially relationships. Imagine being in a relationship with someone who cannot see beyond their own perspective, who cannot understand or validate your feelings, or who sees every disagreement as a threat to their control. It's exhausting, isn't it? This lack of objectivity leads to conflicts, misunderstandings, and ultimately a lack of genuine connection. But let's not forget we're all works in progress, and that includes narcissists. The potential for growth is very much alive. Yes, it's a challenging journey filled with introspection, self-awareness, and consistent effort. But it's a journey that can lead to significant changes. Learning to see the world from others' perspectives, acknowledging one's own shortcomings, and developing the ability to analyze situations objectively, these are all skills that can be learned. The first step is awareness. It's about recognizing these patterns of thought and behavior for what they are, barriers to objective reasoning. The second step is commitment, a dedication to change and growth. It's about saying, yes, I struggle with objective reasoning, but I am not defined by my struggles. I can change. And remember, this journey is not one that needs to be taken alone. Professional help from qualified therapists or counselors can provide guidance and support along the way. Though the journey is challenging, growth and change remain possible. Understanding narcissism and objective reasoning is a complex endeavor. From their distorted self-perception to their lack of empathy, black and white thinking and reliance on defense mechanisms, these factors all play a significant role. Emotional dysregulation and a focus on control further complicate their ability to reason objectively, impacting relationships. But remember, Change is possible with self-awareness and consistent effort. If these issues resonate with you or someone you know, remember. It's always advisable to seek professional help if you're concerned about these issues.